Magnetism is a physical interaction known since antiquity. It was already used in compasses for navigation in China 3000 years BC. Magnetism and its applications have been present in all the scientific and technical revolutions of mankind and today they are also relevant in the field of nanotechnology. La evolución en la fabricación de materiales magnéticos avanzados con dimensiones nanométricas ha dado lugar a descubrimientos que están teniendo impacto en nuevas tecnologías, en informática, comunicación, energía y biomedicina. The hard drives that store the information we use every day on our computers process encoded information in the form of magnetic bits. These bits have a nanometric thick surface layer that permits magnetic writing. The reader heads that can read this information are also based on a magnetic phenomenon called giant magnetoresistance. At the Institute of Material Science and Nanoscience of Aragon, the team, headed by Jose Maria de Teresa, collaborates with the University of Cambridge in the United Kingdom to obtain nanometric magnetic structures in three dimensions. La necesidad de aumentar la densidad de información hace que investiguemos nanoestructuras en tres dimensiones, que son diferentes a las memorias que existen hoy en día en dos dimensiones. Las nuevas generaciones de memorias estarán basadas en nanoestructuras en tres dimensiones, como por ejemplo nanohilos magnéticos. Another application of magnetism on a nanometric scale is linked to the recent discovery in the conversion of thermal energy into electricity. Instead of using the electron charge, another intrinsic property of subatomic particles is used, the spin. The thermoelectric effect leads to energy saving and even the possibility of recovering energy when it is lost in the form of heat, which is the case in car engines. The team, led by Ricardo Ibarra from the Institute of Nanoscience of Aragon, is developing a project in this line with the University of Tohoku and the Atomic Energy Center of Japan. We have discovered that the application of laminas delgadas, dioxides magnetic and metal can get to produce an efficient conversion thermoelectric based on the propagation of the spin in the nanostructure. This type of structure can integrate in cells photovoltaic, circuits electronic and motors for the recuperation of the energy that is lost in form of heat. New therapies and diagnosis methods have been developed over the last few years in the field of medicine based on the use of magnetic nanoparticles. These advances lead the way to treating the disease locally and to its early detection. The chemotherapy used to treat tumors entails applying a medication that spreads throughout the patient's entire body, producing strong toxic effects. The idea of the projects developed at the Institute of Nanoscience of Aragon is for the drug to exclusively attack the tumor or damaged area, thus reducing collateral effects. Nanotechnology uses nanoparticles to address this objective because, due to their size, they can travel through the bloodstream and look for the tumor, locate it, and release the medication charge there. One of the projects developed at the Institute of Nanoscience of Aragon is Hello Kit, which the Tharagotha companies Nanoscale Biomagnetics and Nano Immunotech, together with the Catalan company Horizon, and the Institute of Material Sciences of Aragon also participate in. Estamos investigando para el tratamiento de tumores utilizando nanopartículas magnéticas y campos de radiofrecuencia de muy baja energía, mucho menor que la radiación gamma actualmente en uso. The degree of incidence of a disease and its consequences are related to the immediacy of its detection. Magnetic resonance imaging is one of the least invasive and most efficient techniques used today to detect tumors. Nanotechnology offers an extraordinary possibility to locate the areas where the disease has developed. The use of magnetic nanoparticles in magnetic resonance imaging or tomography will allow them to be sent to the affected area, showing tumors in the beginning stages of development when they are easier to combat. Another of its research fields is the field of biosensors or nanoclinics that permit the detection of molecules associated with the development of a disease. For example, nanoelectrodes or nanostructures modified with DNA, antibodies or cells can be manufactured, 
which, combined with optical and electrical analysis techniques, embody considerable improvements with respect to present-day techniques, not only in terms of sensitivity and selectivity, but also in terms of costs. Our computer transport, energy production and saving, and medicine systems are being developed under the umbrella of the new nanotechnology techniques. The next technological revolution is already here.